This is a brief segment because, you know, we obviously gave Trump some airtime and uh, equal opportunity offenders uh, that we are. We want to check in on Joe Biden. Uh, he was making a house call, apparently. He's now a, I guess, what is he, like a, does, does he have a dental practice that he opened up? Was he do, or, or was this a rally? This was a meet and greet, a town hall of some kind? Uh, no, I th I, no, I think he bought another family fried chicken. Maybe, maybe something like that. But here he is. Uh, uh, Hillary, Hillary brought the hot sauce. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, on the trail, hard at work on the trail. And I guess he was making some comments and he decided to wrap up and take some questions from the press. But uh, not so fast. His team shut that down in a panic, in a frenzy. Can I take a couple questions? Let's take some questions. Thank you, Jeff. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for all the Thanks for all your questions. Thank you, uh, thank you for us. That's it. That's everybody. That's everything here. Now I'll let you hear the real audio. The first is a little hard to see, but it's very faint. They should have subtitled it. Yeah. He says at the very beginning, yeah, can yeah, we take yeah. some questions? Yeah, listen. Listen. I will talk about it. Yeah, we're gonna take a few questions. <laughs> thank you, Brad. Thank, 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 thank you so much. Back in the vehicles. Back to the cars. Back, back to the cars. Back back to the cars. Thank cars. You for us. We're happy thank to walk across. Thank, 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 thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We gotta <laughs> the guy go. The umbrella. <laughs> this is uh, all right. All, all right. So, place. so my, so my interpretation here is the girl who said we're gonna take questions is a new hire, and they didn't let her in on the command to right. never let him take questions <laughs> and she she's still like the way she was like we're gonna take some questions she's still kind of naive and, yeah, and happy the to be there look, so look at the her girl she's like she's very excited right. to have this job yeah in the lower right hand corner she's the one who first gives the green light okay we're gonna take some questions <laughs> yeah they forgot to give her the memo yeah, we're gonna take a few questions <laughs> Thank you, Brad. Thank, thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Back in the vehicles. Hard and these are the pros. The these are the pros. Thank she's like an intern, or she's at the bottom of the ladder. All right, I'll come. Thank you so much. Yeah, they shut that down. They're giving her a talking to. They're like, listen, we shoot him up with the good shit if we're gonna take questions. Okay, we didn't do that this afternoon. You don't let him take questions until that is pre-approved before the event. We don't let this guy open his fucking mouth unless we are 90% sure we know what is going to come out. Because the other 10% of the time, it's not good. Believe me, not good. Believe me, not good. Uh, and, they, and they'll tell you that there's nothing wrong with Biden. Yeah, right. have, you, have you ever seen a staff behave this way around a president who he said he wanted to take questions? That's why she said we're going to take some questions. He said he wanted to take questions. Yeah. He's, suppo he's supposed to be the president. This fucking team of like barely out of sorority hazing PR people he has out of there make decisions for the president of the United States about whether he can speak. And there's nothing to see here. Nothing wrong with this guy. Yeah, this is the most powerful person in the world. When does a candidate, not even a presidential candidate, when is a gubernatorial candidate, somebody running for Congress, for mayor, since when does any candidate not get to decide whether or not they take questions after an event or do a talk back? Who defers to their staff? Hey, are we taking any questions? The fact that he even has to ask that, are we taking questions, shows that he's being so micromanaged, uh, which reflects, obviously, the lack of confidence that the team has in him. This wasn't the first time this week where he's asked his team, hey, do can are right. we taking questions? Are we doing a talk back? It's one thing if you got eight events in a day and you got to make time to the next one, but that's not, this was a hangout. This was clearly a thing where there weren't that many people there. It's not going to take that long. You take five, six, five, six minutes, answer a few questions. No, no, they can't. Anything have can happen. They're yeah. afraid he's going to do a McConnell and freeze right. one of these days, which if I were on his staff, I would, I would be afraid of that, mm -hmm. that he's just going to go blank on stage one day how are you going to talk around that at least at least when he mumbles some shit you can say well he was actually talking about very delicate trade negotiations that's what he was referring right. to but you can't do anything with a blank stare no no and they're probably a little nervous now too uh we're going to talk about chuck schumer's sort of pivot on netanyahu later in the show but things are kind of tense in that department now they don't know if he's going to run his mouth and say something about netanyahu that they're not going to be able to walk back like this is just clearly a guy who they don't trust on a hot mic right now and how is he going to run a campaign like this how i don't buy it 
I'm sorry. I know people are saying, well, now they're going to stick with him. I just can't see it. Just well, look this, at this the clip gives you an idea of Trump how- and Biden. I mean, it, it's no contest. The election's over absent any deep state intervention. It's over. How can he possibly catch up to Trump? Trump's already out way in front of the polls, big leads in a lot of very important swing states for Democrats. How's he going to come back? He can't campaign. He can't even take questions at a, at a house party. However, after uh, after watching that, I'm more convinced that if that is the plan, his team doesn't know about it. At least not the people on camera in that segment. Yeah, no, that would be that. They, they that think that they think they're running a campaign. They definitely feel like it's their job to hide the fact that the president of the United States is mentally incompetent. Yeah. And that's how they're going to get him over the finish line. Yeah, no, I mean, it, it, you're right. It's above their pay grade to know, and I don't think they do. I think right now his team is playing like they're in it to win it. But I just don't see it, man. I mean, just look at those two clips, you know, <laughs> side by side. It's just going to be too brutal. Please clap. Please clap.